This was my original dew shield, which I made a few months ago, and I made a video about making dew shields out of felt, and it's been really good, but I wanted to improve this because I think now that I've got a 3D printer that you can 3D print something which would be even better. So I went on to a program called Tinkercad, which is free, and I designed a three-piece, uh, but there are only two pieces here because I'm still printing the third piece, but a three-piece dew shield. So that's the dew shield. Then there's this bit, which fits over the front of the telescope. It has a little slot just there, and that's for the cable to come out of, which goes to the secondary mirror heater. And there's a little lip, which is just inside there, to prevent it going down too far. But in reality, actually, the, the bolts that hold the spider in place are actually going to stop it going for any further down. So I was going to use some felt, possibly this felt, although it might be a bit thick, just on the inside here, so it holds it in place, and then maybe just some electrical tape or something just to hold it in place. And then with this, as you can see, if I move it around like that, those are the, the light that you can see sort of flashing those are the stepper motor steps as it was printing this. It is actually a, a nice circle, it's really good. It just has the stepper motor steps. But of course, I can't have a reflective surface inside a dew shield. So I've got some flocking material. Uh, this was just from Amazon, nothing special really. And what I'm going to do, oh, it's quite vel velvety. So I'm going to use this and stick it on the inside of the dew shield to hopefully stop any light reflecting around. So I'm going to do that now. Um, if you look at this dew shield, I actually made this one a bit shorter. So it's a little bit shorter and that's because sometimes I found that the size of this was actually causing a bit of vignetting around the edges. If for example, whoops, if for example, it was slightly misshapen or wasn't perfectly straight. So this design should hopefully be perfectly straight. And once I've flocked the inside of this, and I've also made sure this fits, I'm going to just super glue or just use a uh, cyanoacrylate, which is super glue, and just glue the two together like that. And then the third part, which is printing at the moment, is going to be a lens cap. So it'll be a cap that should just fit on there. And then I don't have to take this off. And that should be fine for taking flats with it still on with any luck. So I'll be able to take that off, put a, um, a light tracing pad on top and take my flats and then cover it all over in a blanket uh, with the cap on and not have to take the dew shield off, which will hopefully speed up my flat taking workflow. So what I'm going to do now is flock the inside of this with this paper, although I have noticed it actually does have a bit of a sheen. So maybe this won't be the best material, but we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Hopefully this will work. Just been looking at the flocking sheet that I've got here and it has a bit of a sheen to it but so does this dew shield and this one works you can see that my existing dew shield is more re reflective of the light than this stuff I was a bit worried that this would be too reflective but actually I think it might be okay so I've done half of it hopefully you can you can see that if I angle it and rotate it round I think I'll go with this. I can always replace it if I need to, um, as in replace the flocking material. We'll see how it goes though, see if this does work. There we go. I've now flocked the inside of the tube. It's looking pretty dark in there. And I think it looks fairly comparable between the two in terms of the quality of the light. I mean, it certainly looks very black. 
and I'm kind of hoping that will not have light reflections. If it does, then I'll have to get some other, even darker flocking material. So it's a bit of a shame. I should have bought proper stuff, really, not just stuff from Amazon. But hey ho, you live and learn, don't you? Now, this I need to test on the telescope with some felt to see if that fits okay before I glue these two together like that. And it may be that I have to put some flocking material around here as well in order to stop any light reflecting. So I think I might do that now. I did try and use some of the felt, but it's just too thick and I couldn't get the dew shield to fit over the front of the telescope with this felt. But that's okay, I'll use some offcuts of the flocking material to fit onto this and then hopefully it will fit perfectly onto the front of the telescope. I have fitted a few pieces of the flocking material just on the inside here as well and also a load of the flocking material around the edge and now it fits perfectly so I can just slot that on and that is a perfect fit and it will not fall off which is great I might put some tape around here just to hold it in place but it's pretty good I'm quite pleased with that and then the actual dew shield will just super glue onto the base and hopefully I'll be able to use the cap which is printing at the moment to keep the dust out and I won't have to take the juice shield off. Result, fantastic. Here it is, the finished dew shield. It has actually been used a couple of times and it's working really well. So it's glued together here with super glue or cyanoacrylate and this is the lens cap which I made as well. Again, just four pieces of the flocking material and that's all that's needed to hold it in place. So that looks really good. Very happy with it. It fits really well. I mean, I know it looks like it's kind of moving, but it's not, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. It's a 3D printed dew shield. I just did it because I could. Anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye.